Welcome back to Exploring the Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Today we are doing number two of the Whiskey Barons collection. This is the Bond and Lillard. This bourbon goes back to 1869 and it's William Bond and C.C. Lillard. They created a bourbon, but back then, which was really weird, they would charcoal filter this bourbon. So that's kind of an interesting just difference because I don't think that was a normal thing back then. Mm -hmm. There's probably cheesecloth and that's about it, like a strainer of some sort. Same idea as the uh, WB Saffle. It is distilled and bottled at Wild Turkey, but it has nothing to do with the Russells who are the master distillers for Wild Turkey. So it's not exactly Wild Turkey. So grand prize? Right. The 1904 World's, World's Fair, Fair in St. Louis. Yeah. And they had the written records from the judges at the World Fair, and that's how they recreated the flavor. They recreated the flavor profile from the judges' notes for this bottle. That's just crazy history. <laughs> you know, what, 1904, and I want to say this came out either last year or two years ago. So over 100 years later... They're using those notes to create this whiskey. Need a, need a chemistry degree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got that. What else do we know about this? Seven years old. Yes. Seven years old. Hunter proof. Yep. We got a mash bill on this guy. 75% corn, 13 rye, 12 malted barley. So we got that. And this one is $50 for the half bottle so about a hundred dollars if you got a hole kind of the same on like the, the first one a lot of like the saffle yeah it's just, very it's not, reminiscent of the wild turkey not, notes not much on the nose Ooh, no that's see now it's it's a little more floral hmm. there's a difference there is a difference in the in the nose there is spice there's caramel butterscotch type sweetness little bit of spice, but there's a floral note in that. It's a sweetness all the way through. There is You're no, not getting that kick at the no, end? Nope. Mm -mm. It's, it feels very thin though. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> very thin. Yes, there is definitely the body of the saffle, the oil and the creaminess. This one is drinks a little bit thinner. It's sweeter. And then there's like, there's a baking spice way at the very, back. But it's very, 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 very faint. And none of that oak note. Nope. That dry it out note. doesn't dry out. It, it, totally different. Totally different on that one. That is odd. I will say, again, similar to the, the Saffle, the bottle's just so fun. Like, there's so many little notes and <laughs> things and all the mutual confidence in each other's judgment and integrity. Like there's just all these like, uh, what what? Oh, you gotta read really. Beauty, Beauty in, in the, the sparkle. sparkle. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Real delicacy of flavor, superiority in strength. That didn't sound right. Superiority, Arity? Superiority. Already. Yeah. Okay. It bears no equal. Mm. They are very confident in themselves. Yeah. Yes, they were. Well, Got pictures of the guys. Sturdy. Sturdy men or something. Oh, yeah. Like Linked the hearts of these two sturdy, sturdy men. men. Yeah, that was the judgment and integrity. Got pictures of the guys. Big old beards on them. Really a neat. It's a very neat bottle. Grand prize, 1904. Again, American Medicinal Spirits Company. Hmm. Never heard of it. A little more spice came on the second sip. A little more. But not like batch one. There's, yeah, there is a touch. Of, I'm even getting some baking notes on the nose. It's not crazy strong, but they're there. The sweet, it's really sweet. A little bit of baking notes, but then, like, it doesn't, there's not, there's not a lot of layers to this. There's not an oily creaminess. There's not a, nope. the body's a little off on that guy. Just way too thin for me. Yeah, the way body's a little thin. off. That, and, I'm not going to lie, I mean, more so recently than, you know, years past, any time where it says non-chill filter, that almost always drinks better. Yeah. That, a little bit more oil, a little bit more boldness, flavors, the, yeah, everything in, in that gets stripped away. It's unfortunate. 
All right, so what do you think water is going to do to this? I hope kind of open it a little bit. Okay. I don't think, I, I'm not saying it's going to add sweetness or spice. I think there'll be more flavors. Okay. That's my, all right, that's what I'm hoping for. How about that? So at only 100 proof, I mean, that, which is still solid. Mm -hmm. Not bottled and bond though. Seven years old. I'm, well, uh, I don't know. Maybe because it was outsourced. Or maybe it's a blend of it's too many things yeah, that aren't yeah. the same season. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. A little bit more rye spice. Yeah, that's agree. about the only thing that kicked up there. It's not proof. It's it's like baking spice. The floral note kind of came down a touch, but there's still some sweetness in there. Caramels, vanillas. It's a little sweeter, but you get more spice on the back end. Ooh, that sweetness. Same idea. Yeah. This really sweet in the front, and then. But there's no burn. No, no. There's no. There's no burn. There, it's not aggressive by any means. It's just muted. Everything's a little muted down. Like a weird aftertaste though. Uh, I need it's just hanging oh. in the back. I can't. Can't place that one. No. Maybe on the next sip. I'm not getting a weird aftertaste. Well, see, no. <laughs> now you just made me think about it. And I just got to, and yeah. we've said this before, I just got to, um, like the wooden popsicle stick note. Ugh. That little, just a little bit of that. It's the worst part of a popsicle. Yeah, but it's. Because it means you're almost done. Yeah. There's a little bit of that in there. Yeah. Like a little green note, which is weird for a seven-year-old bourbon. You wouldn't think there'd be a, like a green, like young note, but there's like a grainy note in there. Is that it, or are you getting a little bit of acetone, or like what? Any idea? Some herbally, like it. Some herb, herbally. <laughs> ugh. I don't like the finish with the water. I agree. No, I, no I, water no. for me next go around. Yeah, I totally agree. It's not, water did not make that a better whiskey. Um, mm -mm. It added, it brought out a couple weird notes to it um, <laughs> uh, that are not. Not great. Mm -mm. And it's like the very, like, it's a, it's at the very end of the yes. finish. Like, it, it's like, because the initial. Now my tongue feels like a popsicle. Thing. <laughs> 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 but the initial palate is pretty solid. Um, and, and it's nice, a good baking spice note. But it's that long, like the long tail of the, the finish of this with water. I like. Gets funny. I like the other bottle better. I, I like the body yes, of the other it's one. It's a blend of older whiskeys. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah, because it's six, eight, ten, and twelve. Yeah. It so just it's probably way better. Yeah. It, just that non-shell filter is. It really. It does make a big difference. Total whiskey snobs at that point, I'm sure. <laughs> but it feels like there's a, such a big difference in that. I like the idea. Someone's resurrecting a label. Mm -hmm. I totally. Lo I love that idea. Yep. Something. That, a lot of them they got squashed with prohibition. Yeah, but and it's a really cool story that they recreated it from some a judge's tasting notes. notes. Yeah, which is totally that's that dude's profile. Right. Yeah. It's not. No. It's not ours. <laughs> yeah. It's not ours. So it's that's really fine. his whiskey. Yes, in a in a weird way, yeah. it is. It's what he picked up from it, right. not not what they're like. What distiller the, notes are yeah. or things, things like that it's what the judge actually picked up from the whiskey not that's kind of interesting you might, if there's just one what if it's a crappy judge <laughs> well i would like there's more than one did they just grab one dudes i don't know no or no judges more. judges tasting notes yeah so I'm more saying, than one imagine like if it's just one judge but going through all, all right. of those even if there was say three you know for tiebreakers and things like that if we're not comparing notes, you're going to get something a little different than mm -hmm. me. And, and the third person's going to get something a little bit different based off of, you know, you pull notes out of your memory of things you've tasted right. before. So if we're not talking about it, because you'll say something, yeah, yeah okay, I get that. Like, like, like they're, you, not, they're just sitting there. They're sitting, sitting there on by, the, and, by and themselves. Writing. They're going to be writing some random yeah. things down. <laughs> There are some classic notes that you always, yes. you'll probably get, but some of the weird, like, off, 
ones will they'll be very unique to each judge i'm yeah. sure like i'd mike, love to do that at some like point like mike and susan yeah absolutely they're drinking the exact same okay. whiskey but they sometimes their notes are a reference parallel to susan is a tasting book that yeah that it's I a have. bourbon tasting note but, that he yeah. gets for christmas every yeah. year <laughs> but you know sometimes their notes are really parallel so and every once in a while you know that she's tasting something totally different like it's not even the same whiskey yep so yeah, your palate and your, again, your reference of flavors mm -hmm. really impacts what you think of while you're tasting the whiskey. I would also say that's probably not, not a connoisseur, but I mean, we've tasted obviously just on this, the YouTube channel, how much we've tasted couple, and experienced. A couple bottles. But then like some guys have like their go-to, so like they've, they've narrowed in their. Right. This is my profile. I, I'm doing, and I'm then, doing. Yeah, then they go try something else, and they might be completely different. They complete, they obviously right away pick up the differences, the differences. rather than, yeah. or some of them are maybe trying to make it fit in their, okay, in their, yeah, in their yeah, profile because they only have a limited right. reference. Um, yeah, if if you grew up eating chicken nuggets and French fries for like <laughs> every meal, you're just not going to be able to pull in, you know, whatever right. plums or yeah. weird fruits and things like that. Anyway, all right. We just, yeah, we went off on a tangent. Went off, totally off on a tangent. <laughs> again, again, I like the idea. I love, yeah, I love the history about who, how it was recreated. Yep. But I do think batch one was better than batch two. I would agree. I would agree. No offense, Adam. But again, thank you for donating oh. the bottle. But yeah, absolutely. It Thanks. Looks like he enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. And I, my guess is he probably did a whole lot of ABs and yeah. tried to see what the differences were and things like that. Yep. But yeah, there's a, a lighter yeah, it's just florally. Very thin. Yeah, it's very just thin. thin. Hope you enjoyed the review of batch number two. Um, again, if you're out and about, definitely grab it. Grab just a, it. The bottle's cool, the, the bottle. label's cool, the history's cool. Yep. It's, and if maybe if more people are like if it moves off the shelf, maybe they'll release more stuff. I don't or know. Or maybe they'll put it in a set. Yeah, exactly. For the set, definitely worth getting that. Yeah, batch absolutely. Two and I'm hoping ABs there's a three and, and a four. I mean, that would be cool. Again, I couldn't get the website to work. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was down today. It, it just, I could not get that website to load. I was getting a whole bunch of weird errors. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, well, we appreciate you joining this review of the Whiskey Barons Collection number two, Bond and Lillard. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button on the bottom of the screen. Help us out. Absolutely. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. You can hit the bell icon, you get notified every time we put out a new episode, mm -hmm. something like this. You know, we review whiskeys, all different whiskeys, a lot of things we've never tried before and are new to our... And always looking for new ideas. Yeah, if you got a suggestion, love to hear from you. Absolutely. Thanks for joining. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.